Alright, in this video we will show the one of the circuits that we have already described in our uh, lectures that is related to uh, phase voltage control. As we can see here, this is the uh, circuit we are going to describe in a moment. In this circuit we have eliminated the transformer. So what we have done, we have got the power supply that is feeding the uh, resistors, which is uh, the concept that is based on the voltage divider. So basically we're going to start describing the circuit. It's, uh, first of all, it consists of three main parts. The first part is the zero crossing detector or the, reference, the referencing point, which is mainly consisting of uh, uh, the rectifiers, uh, the full bridge rectifier, and we have an optocouple that's 225 and that is feeding a Schmidt tr trigger circuit, which is the third part of the first circuit. Why do we need a Schmidt trigger? Because if we simply look at the, these uh, two signals, we have two channels. Channel one is, describe, is, uh, is describing the uh, uh, voltage or the, the pulse that's coming from the uh, Schmidt output as a Schmidt trigger, and the first one, the second one, which, which, comes, which has a blue color, that's the pulse that is coming out from the uh, uh, optocoupler. Uh, as you can see here, there's a big difference between the two pulses. We have a clear, nice cut and uh, rising edges in the first one, and we have a falling and rising edges in the second one. And that gives us a better uh, control, actually, because we have. We, if we want to uh, send this pulse to Arduino, it's better to have a nice and sharp edge rather than to have the second one. Uh, if we look at the uh, uh, time, it's uh, almost 150 um, microsecond, whereas the, the first one is around 50 microsecond. Now, uh, after that, we will send the uh, uh, pulse that goes out from the Schmidt trigger to the uh, Arduino to pin number two, which is the external uh, interrupt pin. So the second part of the circuit, which is consisting of the digital control, that is the Arduino. The third part, which is the final part, is the power circuit. In this circuit, we will have the output pin from Arduino, pin number 5, that goes to the opto triac, which is the MOC3021, and the output from the opto triac goes to the triac here, and eventually that will control the whole circuit. So we can start by the minimum output from uh, uh, the uh, Arduino. So if we, if we look at here the dimming, the, we have used a, a, a pulp, an incandescent lamp, to show the concept of the circuit. So if we start increasing the firing angle, or decreasing the firing angle, we will end up having greater illumination in the incandescent lamp, and the light bulb will go up brighter and brighter. And we can see here also the signal that is across the lot. We can see here the, the voltage waveform is changing accordingly. So keep increasing, we will have the full AC wave across the load, which will give us the maximum RMS value. So that's why we have the maximum illumination on the light bulb. Again, we can reduce, we can increase the firing angle and reduce the V output RMS across the load. And by doing so, we can also change the output voltage waveform as you can see here.